So I guess a little um, surprise, hopefully, announcement. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing Larcy's first birthday Q&A. So I had you guys ask us some questions that you would like us to answer about the baby girl. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is the third video and the last video that I'm doing surrounding her first birthday. So if you haven't watched the other two videos about her birthday, then I will link them down below. If you're not already, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, like the video, hit the red subscribe button, and uh, let's get into the questions. So the first question says, do you want a sibling? I think she would want a sibling at times, at other times, no, I think that she would have a hard time sharing her parents and like sharing attention with us because even if we pick up her puppy and we like pretend to snuggle it and oh cute little puppy, she gets very upset. But I think that she would really enjoy having someone to kind of run around and play with. Next question says, can you make a day in the life with Larcy? Yes, I definitely could film that. I currently have so many ideas on my to film list, but because October is such a big a month for us. Everything is kind of put on hold for a short time. So we have Larcy's first birthday. This is the month that we closed in our house. This is the month that I have my YouTube anniversary. So I have a lot of videos surrounding those things that I have to get out before I get into my to film list. But yes, it is on the list. Next question, how many tricks do you know and happy early birthday? I don't even know how many. She can come, sit, stay, roll over, pray, sit pretty, spin. She can back up, she can heal. She can go to mommy, go to daddy, go nap time, go bedtime, go to your spot, leave it, push, go get your puppy, go get your ball, um, go get a drink, get some water. Where's your food? She knows to like go to the door where her food is. I don't know, but she knows a lot. I'm getting a golden retriever puppy and was wondering if you have any advice. I actually had a whole video on this, so I will also link that in the description box. Next question, what is your favorite toy? Her favorite toy is uh, right here. It is the blue playology ball if you have been following us for longer than like a month, you already know that this is her favorite thing in the entire world. This is peanut butter scented. She's obsessed with this thing. Best thing ever. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Next question says, what is your favorite activity to do? Exactly what you're watching her do right now, fetch. I mean, she likes going for walks and she likes playing, but she would pick playing fetch over anything, any day period. How much times does it took you to find and adopt her, Larcy? I'm guessing that means like how much time did it take us to find her? We were looking for probably three months before we found her. And there actually was a golden that we almost got. We're so close to getting before we got her. The breeder just literally went MI on us. And then we luckily found her and thank God we did because she's perfect and I'm obsessed with her. Next question, how were you able to belt train her? I have a six month gold retriever and it hasn't been working. I actually talk all about that, exactly how I belt trained her in our potty training video. So again, I'll have that link below. I have a whole playlist called Life with Larcy. So all of those videos are in there. She's bell trained with the Mighty Plus Smart Bell. So that's what she's talking about. It's just like a little doorbell, a little white circle that she pushes on the wall. And whenever she pushes it, it makes a doorbell sound. And that's how we know that she has to go outside and go potty. Next question, what are you wishing for this year? I am wishing for good news from her breeder. So I guess a little um, surprise, hopefully, announcement. Larcy was supposed to be part of her parents last litter and her breeder decided to do one more litter so we're just waiting on her to go into heat and then hopefully if all goes well we will be getting her sister sometime next year so my wish for this year is that her mom her birth mom goes into heat and gets pregnant what is your all-time favorite treat her all-time favorite treat is the chip and treats loves the chip and treats her favorite ones are probably the superfood ones or the antioxidant ones. I mean, she really likes both of them, but the superfood one is peanut butter, cricket, and pumpkin. She loves peanut butter, so that's probably, look at her. All my treats are out. I'm gonna sit, be a good girl. Here, I'll see if she can sit pretty. I'll show you guys. We've been working on having to hold it by herself, which she's not great at all the time, but we'll see if she can do it. Stay. 
stay. Sit pretty. Good girl. Sit pretty. Good girl. Good job, baby girl. And this is another one of the favorites. This is the antioxidant one. This is banana, cricket, and blueberry. Next question. What was your favorite memory or the most exciting activity you've done? This might kind of sound dumb, but I think the most exciting thing surrounding her was when we were sitting here one day and we were trying to belt train her for weeks and she just like, it wasn't sticking. And we're sitting there, we're watching a TV show and all of a sudden she just went over to her bell. She pushed it and just sat there and like waited for us to come over to take her outside to go potty. So it's like, oh my gosh, like that second where it finally clicked, it was like, oh, all this work of trying to get her to like get a town. And when she finally did, it's like, oh, like it, it was, it was so worth it. But my favorite memory surrounding her is definitely the moment when we first met her. And we actually have all of that on video. The moment that we first saw her and met her, our first moments, everything. I'm so glad now looking back that I have those memories to just rewatch whenever I want. Next question says, do you prefer sandy beaches and swimming or mountains and hiking? Whew, that's a tough one. She loves water, she loves swimming, but she also loves to go hiking. I don't know, I feel like that's probably pretty tied, but maybe swimming, she would pick over the hike. Next question says, do you like water? Yes, of course. Did you find it hard to adjust to life with a dog? At first, a little bit, just because she was a baby and you know she was not sleeping all the way through the night and just getting used to trying to function on little to no sleep and going outside a million times a day. So that was a little bit difficult, but I feel like I caught on to it pretty quickly and now I can't imagine life any different. Next one says, tips for busy moms that still want to train their pups. I would say uh, schedule it. So we had designated trick time every single night when we first got her. I mean, we would do tricks with her like throughout the day and stuff, but there was a designated solid half hour at minimum, usually an hour where we would sit with her and just do different commands and anything at all that we were working on. Whatever it was, that is what we consistently for a solid amount of time every single night consistently worked on. So I would say that is just schedule it and be consistent because she would expect I would always say you're ready to do, to do trick time and she knew exactly what that meant. Do you want a golden retriever sister? I kind of already went over that but hopefully yes we will be getting her actual real little sister. That would be like perfect. What do you use to edit your photos? We use the Lightroom app. I bought the Aspen Ovard minimal Instagram mobile presets so I can link that down below if you want to try them. Next question says what breed do you like after golden retriever? I would want a Dachshund Golden Mix. There's also two dogs on Instagram that I'm literally obsessed with. One of them is Wayla. She's a liver Dalmatian. Seriously, one of the prettiest dogs I've ever seen in my life. And then the other one is Watson. He's a miniature English cream Dachshund. Seriously, so freaking cute. I'm slightly Okay, very obsessed with him. I think they're so freaking cute. Do you like flat-coated retrievers? Yeah, I didn't even know that that was a thing. I just saw that for the first time the other day. I'm not really even sure what that means. I guess I'd have to look it up, but I, I mean, I'm sure. Was Larcy a picky eater when she was a puppy? No. Larcy will literally eat like anything. Was she ever food aggressive at all? If so, how did you work with that and train her? Now she has never been aggressive around her food. I know some dogs are like that and I'm glad that we never had to deal with that. She's never aggressive, but if she's eating, she eats like a vacuum. That's why she has to eat out of a slow feed bowl. And she never was like that at first, but after like, I think a month or two, she just instantly just sucking down the food. She gets like really upset if you like hold away from her. Like you literally have to like drag her away from the food if she's in it, but she's never like, mean or tries to bite you or browse or anything at you if you do that. How uh, were you able to bell train her? Any tips? Like I said, I have a whole video talking about that, but start as soon as you get them and consistently do it every freaking single time. Even though it sounds so monotonous and annoying, I say this in the video, you want in their mind to think that that freaking door will not open 
until that button is pushed. Next question is how many times a day do you brush Larcy? We brush Larcy just once a day, her fur, but she usually gets her teeth brushed twice. Honey, you have stuff in your fur. I can't use the box, but my question is, how is Larcy's leash walking and how long did it take her to walk on leash nicely? She's still not great at it. She still likes to pull, but having her easy walk harness on makes literally a world of a difference. I think mean, she's better than she used to be. My other question is, what are Larcy's all-time favorite treats that she would pick over any other? Again, the chip and treats that I just showed a little bit ago. Okay, next question says, are you going to do a video where you celebrate? Yes. And I already have those two videos up. I have the video of us preparing for her first birthday, and then it's actually celebrating her first birthday the weekend before and the day of. And then the last question says, how old were you when you started to free roam the house? I wanna say Larcy was eight months old when she started to free roam, just some baby steps. And that's on my list to make a whole video talking about how we transitioned her. But we would do baby steps where we would go just to the post office real quick. Just something that was like maybe under a half hour we're gonna, we're gonna be gone. And then if, you know we have our camera where we can watch her. And then we come back or maybe we'd run out and get the mail and then we come back. Or I'd be doing yard work and we come back. So little increments, but she was probably nine months old, I would say, before we actually just like let her free roam all the time like when we're gone and we still had like the bedroom door closed we still have the bathroom door closed we have the gate so she can't go upstairs at least right now i think she would be fine even if we did let her completely free roam she's not really big into getting into things luckily we're very lucky on that end so yeah that was all of your guys's questions i hope i didn't miss anybody i tried to screenshot all of them as they were coming through. If you're not already, please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button, follow us on Instagram, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will try to get back to all of them. But as always, we love you guys and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.